Happy Friday. It's the weekend. I uh, hope you guys have something cool planned for the weekend. I always say cool or relaxing, one or the other. For me, I, well, we have a little birthday party for a two-year-old to go to tomorrow. But other than that, it's just going to be catching up on some chores and things that we did. That, well, you know, laundry and everything like that that you have to do when you get on vacation. Yep, that's what we'll be doing. So, I have a couple of cool things I want to show you guys today. But first, I want to do my scripture writing. I haven't done that yet today. I got this morning and I was had already planned out what I was going to do. So, I got busy. And so, I have got to get my scripture writing done. Okay, I'm going to use this. I don't have my light on because it's it causes too much of a glare on the camera so it actually kind of washes things out and I wanted you to be able to see what we were doing so today is 21st so this is the, the one I'm doing this month on Colossians next month I'm going to do um, Ephesians so 21st we're going to do Colossians 3 12 and 14 and let's see if I can actually think talk and write at the same time all three of those things are hard for me well not the talking part just the thinking while i'm talking that's the hard part and that gets me into some trouble sometimes Woohoo! okay so 3 12 and 14 says this since god chose you to be the holy people he loves you must clothe yourself with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and give anyone who offends you. Forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. All right. Colossians, all of the epistles are just so good. I mean, there's just so full of things that we all need to learn from time to time. Okay, I'm not going to promise this is going to be neat or anything because, you know, with my left-handed craziness anyway, it is hard for me to write neat. And you see how we lefties have to slant <laughs> everything. I still say this should be considered a disability. The world's not made for us. All right since God chose you to be the holy people he loves he loves us you must clothe yourselves with tender hearted mercy. Back south, that was a huge saying among you know the peeps back there we always said if someone got their feelings hurt easily you know especially a little one we'd call them tender hearted but I think tender heartedness is more an outward thing than an inward thing we need to be tender hearted with each other loving and forgiving and I think the best definition of tender-hearted would be someone who when someone else is going through a horrible trial when they're hurting they come alongside them and they hurt with them and they just walk that walk with them there is a spiritual gift of mercy, ladies, and you can look that up in Colossians. 
So if you've always felt that you had no particular spiritual gift, number one, we all have a gift from God. Some have multiples, but we all have at least one. Mercy is definitely one of them. Being able to come alongside someone and walk. You know, it's like the old saying, it says, you know, laugh and the world laughs with you. Weep and you weep alone. Well, a person that's been given the spiritual gift of mercy actually goes alongside that person and weeps with them. They feel that person's pain. And that's such an important thing because so most people would rather just not be around someone who's who's grieving who's hurt because they feel like they don't know what to say or what to do but someone who has that spiritual gift of mercy they know that it's just important just to be there and sometimes there's nothing you can say and there's certainly nothing you can do but pray for a person but just being there so they have someone there with them to comfort them that is huge there's nothing like one-on-one -on -one ministry and that's exactly what that is so if you are one of those people you are a very very special person God has given you a very special gift I am more of a teacher person and let me see if I make sure I haven't got off track here let's reach for allowance see I've already messed up told you can't write can't talk can't think all together it's crazy so I'll just go back and see it's that after we've done with the video this is usually what I have to do I usually just mess up But what I was saying is I am not one of those people who necessarily has that gift of mercy. I have more of a teacher spirit, which basically means, you know, uh, someone with the gift of mercy, you know, a friend would come by and, and, you know, they're having a terrible, terrible time. You'll sit down, you'll hold their hands, you'll hug them, you know, you'll possibly cook for them some, just something to comfort them. If you have a teacher spirit like me, you're like, oh, you know what? I got a book for that. <laughs> Let me grab that book. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty much what a teacher spirit does. It's not that we don't care. We don't. Um, we we just don't respond the same way. Everybody with their different spiritual gifts responds differently, and that's what they're there for. Some of us are pinkies. Some of us are big toes. Some, some of us are thumbs, and thumbs are extremely important. You guys know that. Of course, toes are too, because guess what? You couldn't walk or stand if you didn't have toes. So toes are very important. All right. Enough of that little teeny tiny Bible lesson today. But like I said, I applaud anyone who has that gift. And I bless you because you have one of the best gifts that God can give a person. The ability to come alongside and comfort someone who is in you know need of comfort but all right the other little thing i want to show you guys is last night i tend to do this i i stay up late since i haven't been working i just i stay up half the night just doing stuff i don't know why but my brain is more awake in the middle of the night than it is during the day so but anyway, I was downloading images off Etsy like crazy um, last night, finding some good images to make my dividers out of. And I wanted to show you guys some of them. They are so pretty. I've got several different kinds because there's several different kinds of things that I like that appeal to me. So I'm going to show them all to you starting out with this one this is definitely for all the planner girls but first coffee in bed with a book and donuts I don't do that as much anymore because you know I'm trying to get rid of a couple of rolls spare tires as they say 
And then on the back of it, my work pants or my jeans. Yeah. It'd be better if it said my work pants or my my wet sweatpants or my work pants. But that sounds like you're working out. Which, when I have on sweatpants, I am not working out. I'm not even close. I'm sitting in a recliner somewhere. The next one is I love, because I, I love drawing physical features. And I especially love drawing eyes. So, when I find some, I found a ton last night. But unfortunately, they were... Um, the proportion of them wasn't something that I could print off and use as a as a um, divider. But I did find a couple. I love that. That is one. That is so pretty. And then this is just like a little... It's like she's got something across her face. But you get to see one eye and lips. I love stuff like that. It's very artsy. I think it's very, very artsy. Artsy fartsy. And then this one, you've got that. I see this is it's for people who are minimalist. This is the way to go for you guys. And then on that side, you've got that. Pretty, pretty. And then I have this one. I especially like it. The actual image was smaller with a reef around it. So I just, I drew, you know, zoomed in a little bit more. So I can get more detail for the eyes. And then on the back, she's got it closed. So open. Green eyes I got her. Closed. And then this one is a, probably my, my favorite. It's for the planner girls. I love planning. You got your gorgeous planner right there. You have pens. Coffee everywhere. Washi tape. Scissors. Just, you know, everything that... A, good planner girl needs love it love it love it love it and then on the back more planners with a coffee cup with a kitty on there and that cute 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 that's my world right there and then this one these are brides and I love 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 illustrations of brides um so I want to show you guys these this one, I, it's still a bride, but I love those colors. I want to have a second wedding. Really, really super bad. Um, just base, you know, my husband's like, do you want to marry me again? Or do you just want to wear a new dress? <laughs> I'm like, well, dress and cake, they're always good. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but I would like to lose some weight before we did a renewal of vows. Because, you know, when you're chunky, just the dress is just, you know. You know, not going to go any further than that. That's all I got to say about that. But on the back of it, isn't that pretty? I just put all the roses because the roses match her roses. And it's got some blue in it, like her blue. I just think that is so pretty. Love that. And then this one. This is actually a, it's a drawing, but then they added uh, acrylic paint into it and if you can see and we'll show it kind of close make sure some, if you can see you can see the acrylic paint and that is just I love it I'm actually going to try that out myself so I'm going to draw that and then try to paint it like that I just think that's so pretty and then on the back just a very simple very pretty drawing love that and then this one I just thought this was the cutest image. Look at that. And I had to chop her down. The actual image itself, you know, you get to see her entire dress out. But I just think that's really super pretty. It reminds me of some of the pictures I've seen in my mother-in-law's uh, wedding pictures that she did back in 1963 that were so pretty. And then I just love that because of the colors. All the flowers and the colors and the, just everything that's just beautiful 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 and then this is my final one and I downloaded bukus of images like this and I think I'm going to make a whole set of the vintage bride so that's what I've got and I, like I said I downloaded a ton of images similar to this so I think I'm going to make an entire set of uh, dividers just of the vintage the vintage look like that I think that is so pretty and on the back of it I just put more roses but yeah, yeah, 
this is so pretty. So tell me what you think about those ladies. And if you've got any ideas, let me know. I'm just a girly girl. And sometimes I like the, the girly girl look. And sometimes I like the vintage look. And sometimes I like the plannery fun look. It's probably why I have so many planners. <laughs> All those different things in there. But I've got to go go through and put my holes in there. This is the one I have too. But this is the one I use for the dividers mostly. Because it's a little bit stronger. I got this at Michael's. It was $20 six dollars i want to say so a little bit but yeah it goes through those pretty good it's kind of harder for my smaller one that i got from um hobby lobby it still works i just have to squeeze it a lot harder so this one's more heavy duty to do that but that's my little work for today my husband's still on vacation, so we've got to figure out what we want to do. I think he wants to do some uh, catch-up stuff around the house, too, today. And then tomorrow, we will probably have to go grocery shopping, because i got nothing in this house to eat. So, and we need to shop for our fish. When I'll show you, you ladies my fish. I have two beautiful, fancy goldfish that I love so much. They're so stinking cute. And... It took me forever to get some fancy goldfish to live because I was making a boo-boo. I did not know that you could put fancies in cold water, that they preferred that. I kept putting them in heated water just like we did with uh, our, you know, African cichlids and everything. And they kept dying. That's why. I've got these two that I've had now for going on a year. And they've gotten so big and they're just so cute. They have these cute little faces with little actual little chubby cheeks and they just come right up to me they will get in the palm of my hand and let me hold them and i love that but anyway one day i will show you i'm just gonna film them swimming give you guys something to relax to so anyway have an awesome weekend do something fun or relaxing but just enjoy your weekend and keep up with your scripture writing though that's important get up every morning if you can if you're if you know if you're able to and and just sit down with a couple of scriptures and write them out and and ask the lord to speak to your heart and encourage you with what you read and i will see you later bye 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 there's my hand bye bye oh, i also need a pedicure so, oh, or manicure pedicure too would be nice Bye.